Good afternoon. Today is Friday, September 29, 2017. I'm Brianna Boutte. A vicious hit in last night's NFL game sent a player to the hospital. And I'm Mason Kinzer. Talk about being left home alone. The news is next. Students taking fall semester dual credit courses need to apply for advanced opportunities funding and register for their college credits no later than today. Please ask your dual credit teacher if you are unsure about this process. Tennis players, Coach Hughes will be in the gym foyer today right after school at 2.39 p.m. to collect all the money from and leftover tickets from the Lender Farms ticket sales from tennis team members. All money and tickets are due today. Girls, if you are interested in computer coding or programming camp, please come to the College and Career Center. We have an awesome opportunity for you. Seniors, FAFSA, FAFSA opens up this year on Sunday, October 1st. Mr. Ms. Johnson and Mr. Alcantara will be working with you during government classes, October 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. But please also bring your parents to the first FAFSA night of the year on October 4th. It will be in the library from 5 to 8 p.m. in the Nampa High Library. Those who complete their FAFSA will automatically be entered into drawing for some awesome prizes. The LEO Club will be having its first meeting today after school. If you are interested in developing your leadership skills and doing volunteer work, come to room 681 after school. There will be food. Any juniors or seniors interested in taking the ASVAB this October 22nd need to sign up in the College and Career Center no later than October 18th. This is a great opportunity to explore your career options for the future. Seniors, every senior should have received a school text message to their email on Wednesday this week with the Survey Monkey survey attached regarding project graduation. We really value and need your input on this survey, so please take the short survey by this weekend. Thank you. We'll be right back after this. Are you interested in the visual arts? Do you want to improve your skills, make friends, and learn new things? Then Art Club is right for you. It doesn't matter if you're at a beginner, intermediate, or experienced skill level. You'll fit right in. Art Club is located in room 307, meeting up every Friday at 2.45 p.m. Anything is welcome. Anime, manga, pottery, painting, origami, etc. We welcome you. Art Club is a place without judgment and bias. Art Club, room 307, every Friday at 2.45 p.m. See you there. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make yours a great one and see Dr. Keller today. Today we'll have a high of 79 with a low of 51, and tomorrow we'll have some clouds with a high of 65 and a low of 41. Back to you, Mason. Thank you, Brianna. Green Bay receiver De Devontae Adams was taken off Lambeau Field on a stretcher after a nasty hit from a Bears linebacker. The Packers took a 35 to 14 victory Thursday night, knowing Adams apparently is going to be okay. Adams has absorbed a powerful helmet-to-helmet -helmet blow that sent Adams' mouth guard flying and briefly knocking him out. Teammates immediately and frantically waved medical personnel onto the field to tend to Adams. The loudest noise in the press box all night came from the gasps and groans when the replay was shown. Adam was taken to a local hospital to be evaluated for head and neck injuries. He was conscious with feeling and movement in all extremities when he left the field. Police have arrested a mother in suburban Iowa who left her four children home alone while she traveled to Europe. Police say they've charged 30-year-old Erin Mack with child endangerment. Police say Mack made no child care arrangements for her kids, ages 12, 12, 7, and 6, before she left September 20th for Germany. Police were tipped off September 21st that the children had been left unsupervised. Officers investigated and called in the Iowa Human Services Department, which took custody of them. Police called Mack in Germany, demanding she come back. She was arrested on her return. The SAT word of the day is affable, which means easy to approach and easy to talk to. You could use it this way. To be a school resource officer, a person must be affable. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.